This is a tutorial on parallel and perpendicular lines. Parallel lines are lines that do not share any points, or lines that do not meet or cross. Perpendicular lines are lines that cross and the angle between them is perfect 90 degrees. So here we have an example of parallel lines. The distance between them is always the same. They will never meet or cross, so they are parallel lines. Here's an example of perpendicular lines. They meet at one point and the angle between them is a right angle or a perfect 90 degrees. Now let's look at parallel lines in a little bit more detail. Here we're given two sets of parallel lines. In our first set, our first line has the equation y is equal to negative 3 halves times x plus 4. This means that we have a y-intercept of positive 4, which we do, it's right there. And then our rise over run, or our slope, is a negative 3 halves. So that means that we're going to the right 2 and down 3. And then our second line has a y-intercept of negative 1, which it does, it's right there. And again, our rise over run, or our slope, is a negative 3 halves, which means we go over 2 and down 3. Notice that our slopes are the same, or the rise over run is the same. Let's check our other set of lines and see if that holds. Here we have y is equal to negative 3 fifths x plus 4. Well, our y-intercept is 4, which is right there. And then we're going over 5 and down 3. So our rise over run is 5 and negative 3, or our slope is negative 3 fifths. In our second line, we have a y-intercept of negative 2, which makes sense. It's right there. And again, our rise over run is a negative 3 and 5. Well, we know these parallel lines never cross. That's why they're parallel. And we notice that our rise over run, or our change in x and change in y's, are always the same, which would make sense because if they weren't the same, eventually the lines would cross. So it's important to notice that all parallel lines have equal slope, or the slopes of all parallel lines are the same. Now there's a special case with parallel lines. Here we have two horizontal lines, and if you know your horizontal lines, you know that they have a slope of zero. So both of these horizontal lines have a slope of zero, so their slopes are equal. Now vertical lines, however, have an undefined slope. So it's hard to say that two vertical lines have the same slope because its slope is undefined. So you just have to remember that vertical lines, if there's more than one, two vertical lines are parallel and are always parallel. Well, now that we know that all parallel lines have the same slope, Let's see if we can figure out from this, these equations which lines are parallel. Well, our first equation here is written in slope-intercept form. y is equal to mx plus b, where m is our slope. That means the slope of this equation is negative 5. Well, let's look at our second example. This one's a little bit more messy, so let's simplify it. I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. I'm going to get 7y is equal to negative 6x plus 3y plus 4. I'm going to subtract 3y from both sides. And I'm going to get 4y is equal to negative 6x plus 4. And I'm going to divide everything by 4. I'm going to get y is equal to negative 3 halves x plus 1. Well now this is in slope intercept form so we can say that our slope of this line is equal to negative 3 halves. Well since this slope is negative 3 halves and this slope is negative 5 we know that these lines are not parallel. Let's try our third equation. Here we got negative 10x minus 2y is equal to 0 going to add 10x to both sides to try to get in slope-intercept form. 
So we'll end up with negative 2y is equal to 10x. I'm going to divide everything by negative 2. I'm going to get y is equal to negative 5x. Now this is in slope-intercept form, and if it helps, you can think of it as plus 0. But because this is a slope-intercept form, we can see that our slope is negative 5. So we know that our third equation and our first equation are parallel lines. Now let's talk about perpendicular lines. Here we have two examples of perpendicular lines. Our first one, y is equal to negative 3 halves plus 2. And then we have y is equal to 2 thirds x minus 4. Well, we knew with parallel lines the slopes were equal. So let's look at the slopes of these two lines. Our first one is negative 3 halves. And our second one is 2 thirds. Well, let's look at our second example and see if we can see a pattern. Our first line, y is equal to 1 half x, has a slope of 1 half. And our second line has a slope of negative 2, because it's y is equal to negative 2x. So we have a negative 2. And if we think of this negative 2 over 1, you may see a pattern here. When we have two perpendicular lines, that means their slopes are the negative reciprocals of each other. That means that if I have a slope of negative 3 halves and I want to find the slope of a line perpendicular to it, I want the negative reciprocal, so I would multiply it by negative 1 and that gives me 3 halves and then I want the reciprocal, which just means you swap out your numerator and denominator. So we'd end up with a positive 2 thirds. So negative 3 halves would go to 2 thirds. There's another way to check this. If you have two lines and you know that their slopes make them perpendicular lines, you can multiply the slopes together and they should always equal to negative 1. So if we take negative 3 halves and multiply it by 2 thirds, we'll get negative 6 over 6, which is equal to negative 1. So that works. Let's look at our second example. Here we have a slope of 1 half and negative 2 over 1. Well, if I take 1 half and I multiply it by negative 1, I'm going to get negative 1 half. And then if I take the reciprocal of it, I'm going to get negative 2 over 1. So that works. Now let's double check it. So we got 1 half times negative 2 over 1 will give us negative 2 over 2 which again is equal to negative 1. So remember if you ever have perpendicular lines the slopes are the negative reciprocal of each other. So let's practice with negative reciprocals. What is the slope of a line perpendicular to a line with a slope of 4 thirds? Well, if we know a line is 4 thirds and we want the slope of a line perpendicular to it, we just take the negative reciprocal of this slope. So 4 thirds, multiply it by negative 1, and you'll get negative 4 thirds. And then just swap your numerator and denominator to find the reciprocal. So you'll end up with negative 3 fourths. So that's the slope of the line perpendicular to a line with a slope 4 thirds. Now we can double check this again. We have negative 3 fourths, and we multiply it by 4 thirds. We'll get negative 12 over 12, which is negative 1. So we know we did that right. Let's check the next example. Here we want the slope of a line perpendicular to a line with a slope of negative 4. Well, think of your negative 4 as negative 4 over 1. If we have negative 4 over 1, we multiply it by negative 1, we're going to get 4 over 1. And then to find the reciprocal, we would get a slope of 1 fourth. So we can double check that one as well. If we take negative 4 over 1 times 1 fourth, we'll get negative 4 over 4. 
which is equal to negative 1. So the slope of a line perpendicular to a line with a slope of negative 4 is a line with a slope of 1 fourth. Let's look at our third example. Here we got an equation written in slope intercept form. And because it's written in slope intercept form, we can say that we know our slope of this line is negative 6 fifths. And if we want the slope of a line perpendicular to it, we just have to take the negative reciprocal of 6 fifths. So negative 6 fifths times negative 1 is equal to 6 fifths. And you swap your numerator and denominator, and you end up with 5 6. So the slope of a line perpendicular to y is equal to negative 6 fifths x plus 7 has a slope of 5 6. And we can check this last one. 5 6 times negative 6 fifths is equal to negative 30 over 30, which is equal to negative 1. There's a special case for perpendicular lines where you cannot take the negative reciprocal. And that is the special case with vertical and horizontal lines. Now, a horizontal line has a slope of 0. And a vertical line has an undefined slope. So you can't say that a vertical and a horizontal line, their slopes are negative reciprocals of each other because that wouldn't make any sense. So you just have to memorize that if you ever see a vertical or a horizontal line that they are perpendicular and form a perfect 90 degree angle.